Hi there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of the 15th. This one doesn't resonate so much. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages for you. We're looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you'd like to order your own reading, I'm doing three questions for $30. Okay. So first things first, we have the chariot here, Cancer, which is your major arcana. This is you showing up at like the height of your power. So your energy looks pretty fantastic here, but it's right next to the three of swords. You can see like she's pierced through the heart with this sword. This is heartbreak. It's heartache. It's pain. It's sadness, um, disappointment in love, uh, having a breakup with someone. So you may have cut someone off or they cut you off. Maybe you're no contact with somebody right now. We've got the Ace of Swords, which is cutting someone off or cutting something out. It's also sometimes truth that comes to light, like a revelation. And we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius energy usually, but it can also be Libra or Gemini. King of Swords is also someone who is really good at setting boundaries for themselves, is really good at um, having their walls up a little bit, you know, being careful not to get hurt, being a little bit head over heart. They've got strong boundaries. So you may have cut this person off. They may have been a little head over heart and you had to like cut your losses here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this person and see what's up. So yikes, we've got the 10 of swords. So the Ten of Swords can mean uh, like being stabbed in the back. It's a painful ending with someone. It's a betrayal and a hurt card. It's just feeling exhausted. So what's going on with this person? Hmm. We have the strength card in reverse, Leo energy. The strength card in the upright is someone who is like confident, they're bold, they're brave. In the reverse, they're exhausted, they're afraid, they're tired. We've got the four of swords in reverse, which is being restless. So have you been like maintaining the silence here? Maybe this person has been thinking about reaching out to you, or maybe they actually tried. I don't think they like your demeanor here, that it's it's causing them like some worry or, yeah, some worry or anxiety. Nine of swords, hold on. Your energy seems pretty good, and theirs is not that great. The nine of swords is like, I can't sleep, I can't think, I can't eat. I'm up all night. I have this insomnia. I'm, you know, expecting the worst case scenario to happen. There's a lot of swords here. So I do think this person is like doing a lot of thinking about you here. We've got the nine of cups in reverse and we have the fool in reverse. All right, hold on. So this is a lot here. Um, you have a lot of reversals, which is someone who is not they're not doing so hot. The energy is muted. They're a mess. That nine of cups in reverse is literally someone being unhappy, feeling like they don't have what they want. They don't have what they need. They're feeling emotionally vulnerable here, I think. We've got the fool in reverse. Aries energy for me as a reader. Some people see that as Aquarius. I don't. The fool in reverse is feeling... Like I'm being an idiot, I'm being foolish, I'm afraid. I almost wonder, like this person is afraid that you're done here. 
that you are no longer interested or maybe like they don't mean that much to you, there's, there's a certain vulnerability here. All right, let's clarify it. Okay. So what is going on with this person? And at the end, I'm gonna pull a card for how they feel about you. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Usually a Taurus card, it can also be Capricorn or Virgo. King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who is not feeling that stable or steady or grounded. This person could be an earth sign or one of you could have earth in their chart. They're just feeling like everything is kind of up in the air right now. Maybe it's because they're not hearing from you or they're not really sure what you're going to do about the situation. It's like they're up in their head. See, look at all of these swords. The two of swords. They're trying to decide what to do here. The two of swords is making a difficult decision, choosing between two good things, two bad things, choosing your head over your heart. It's also maybe not having all the information. You can see she's blindfolded. She's blinded. Maybe this person made a real stupid decision and now they're dealing with the fallout of it. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I think they're trying to figure out what to do here. If this person isn't an earth sign or like one of you doesn't have earth in your chart, this is someone trying to plan what to do here. They're coming up with an idea. I will say that the Knight of Pentacles moves super slow. He is the slowest knight. But he is the most organized and he does kind of follow through on his word. But just look at all those reversals. Ooh. Three of Swords again. They're heartbroken. They're sad. They're upset. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. There's there's some similarities with that reading. Hmm. We've got the judgment card, Libra energy. This is wanting to like it's wanting the resurrection of a relationship. It's like wanting to bring something back to life. It's trying to make a big decision here. They're getting ready to make a move, I think. Huh. Because you are their Ten of Cups. That is a wish fulfillment card. That's a card of commitment. It's settling down. It's having children, having a spouse. They feel like this is an important connection. You are their Ten of Cups and... I do think your silence is bothering them. It's worrying them. Let's do how they feel. Although I think the Ten of Cups is a pretty good indication. Okay, so let's see how they currently feel about you. Ooh. So, ouch. Um, three of Swords. That has come out how many times now? I think this is time number three. We've got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They are feeling hurt. They are feeling vulnerable. They're worried. They're up in their head. And I think it's because you've like cut them off or maybe you've like cut them off energetically, emotionally. They can feel your withdrawal here and they don't like it. I do think they're getting ready to come towards you. So make of that what you will. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for a month. And if you would like your own private reading, you can find that down below. I'm doing three questions for 30. All right. Blessed be.